What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Sweat, and welcome to DraftKings contributor Jeff Ork and RotoWire's Paul Bruno. Fellas, here for NHL Morning Skate, so we need you to preview tonight's six-game NHL slate from a DFS, and we'll get into some sportsbook perspective, too. So let's start with who your favorite center is tonight. Jeff, who are you going with? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I think it's a great time to jump on Jack Eichel at 7,000. I mean, obviously had a massive... Uh, game in his last outing, um, you know, five sh- five shots on goal and a goal, and now gets the the Arizona Coyotes. I mean, we're all kind of waiting for the the Vegas Golden Knights offense to potentially start clicking, and I think now is this is a pretty good slate to jump on them. I mean, you, you've got Columbus obviously playing really well, who I liked last night, and they did come through, but they're on a back to back against a good defensive team in Carolina, and everyone's going to be all over the Hurricanes in this spot, and that's fine. But I, I think loading up on Vegas here. It might not be super sneaky, but I do think you'll get lower ownership than you will on the Hurricanes. And I, I just think that there's still like a big group of people in DFS probably not sold on paying 7000 for Jack Eichel because he's only in his like his fourth game back. So for me, I, I'm going to Jack Eichel tonight. I think the, the Golden Knights offense has just as good a shot at being uh, the leaders on the slate as Carolina. All right, Paul, who are you going to at the center position on this NHL slate? I'm right with Jeff without repeating all the narrative that he just explained explain uh, it makes total sense we're all waiting for that breakout effort and he seems primed for it in a very nice matchup i think the case can also be made for sebastian Ajo, who's a bit of a higher floor play i would say with a point per game 28 shots on goal in his last 10 outings but the guy that's a sneaky good value tonight is anze kopitar a 6200 dollars price tag He's got 47 points in 51 games. That tells you he's a model of consistency. 11 points in his last 10. That, too, is a very high floor, and it's a cheaper price. So that might be where I'm focusing tonight. Best winger on the slate, Paul? Who are you going with? I like Colorado tonight against Winnipeg. That means Miko Rantanen, $7,500 is a great play for me. Uh, I know the price is high, but it's not as high as we've seen for him. And yet he's scoring just as consistently as always, 40 shots on goal. And in his and he's got 15.4 DraftKings points in each of on average in his last 10 outings. I like Vlad Tarasenko. He's rounding into form. They're hosting Buffalo St. Louis this tonight. 11 points and 25 shots on goal for him in his last 10, with a floor that should equal his 12.3 DraftKings points per game over that last 10 games. A nice matchup there. And similarly to the Eichel narrative, Backspatch Ready makes a lot of sense. You know he's missed a lot of games, but the points per game and goals per game are right up there with the league leaders on the season if you extrapolate that. So look for him to be part and parcel of that Eichel breakout tonight as well. Jeffrey, who are you looking at for winger? I mean, look, the Columbus Blue Jackets, they're playing really well. Like I said, it's, it's a cool little story here. They, they had a mass, massive win as super big underdogs last night. But, I mean, they are they're going to be starting like a four-string goalie again. Like the, the Jean-Francois Barube story is going to come to a, a crashing end at some point. <laughs> and it could be tonight against Carolina on the back-to-back. I'm not even sure if he's going to get the start. And if he doesn't get the start, it'll be the fifth stringer. So Andrei Svechnikov uh, at under 7K in this matchup is is just like, I think you just put him in. You get some exposure to the Carolina offense. And I think Svechnikov is the best way to do it. He's only 6,800, which is massively underpriced considering this matchup. He's got multi-goal upside in, in, in this one. I think a lot of people will go to Patrick Line just because he's been so hot. I prefer Svechnikov in that matchup. But, um, you know, you, can, you should also be looking at the St. Louis Blues. You know, like if you want to pay up for a winger, I think Vladimir Tarasenko against Buffalo it was really terrible. Uh, it is, it's fine as well. You know, the, the blue scoring tends to be a little bit more spread, but Tarasenko and, and maybe even Buknevic, uh, you could pair them together as well. Again, if you're going to pay up on wing, but I still think Svechnikov, uh, the best bang for your buck, especially under 7K. All right, Jeff, who are you paying up for on the blue line? Kale McCarr, the most expensive defenseman at 7,100. Yeah, Kale McCarr is, is always like a, a fine option, but, um, you know, I, I, I kind of prefer Drew Doughty right now. I mean, Doughty has just been... This whole Kings offense has been like shockingly really good of late. Uh, you know they, they've won a few games in a row now, but it's it's really just been it's been more just Dowdy just producing more as, as a as a fantasy stud. I mean the block shot rate rates are way up, and and so is the shots on goal. It's kind of like vintage Drew Dowdy right now. You know averaging well over four uh, block shots shots on goal per game, and and the power play for the Kings has improved a lot of late too. So. You know, I'm not too scared of Anaheim right now. I mean, they played a really close game with San Jose in their last outing, and it's not like San Jose has been playing well. So I think the Kings actually have the advantage in this matchup, and I think it, you'll probably see Doughty show up again. So I actually prefer him slightly over uh, Makar, which sounds a, a little bit silly to say, but there's a $600 
price differential between them two. You know, you can you could certainly go down the list and, and and look at guys like again from St. Louis who you know getting a piece of like Justin Falk for cheap uh, in, in the matchup against the the Sabers is never a bad idea. But if I'm paying up, I still prefer Drew Doughty. All right, Paul, who are you paying up for on the blue line? Well, once again, we're singing from the same hymnal, Jeff and I. So I agree that Stoudy is the guy that stands out among the high end when you consider particularly he's actually outscoring, outperforming Makar and Pietrangelo over the last 10 games. So he's got a nice matchup tonight. And I still expect the other two guys to have higher ownership. So it, it's the play to go with tonight. There's no question. And I normally give you more alternatives, but he's a screaming high, hot option for me here. Paul, value play, your best one, your favorite one, the one you were absolutely in love with. Well, I got a handful of them, unlike, unlike the one pick on D. So I'll go through them quickly. Braden Shen centering the second line. It's the top scoring unit in St. Louis of late, and he's been on fire with seven goals in his last 10 games, only 4,100 bucks for that. Jesper Bratt is holding a hot hand for Jersey, coming in at $4,700, playing right wing on the second line there. And he's got 12 points and 27 shots on goal. Good for 12.6 DraftKings points per night over his last 10 outings. In the same game, go to the other side of the ice. Dylan Strom in between Debrinkat and Kane. Looks like a very nice play. He's playing his best hockey maybe of his career with nine points in his last 10 games played. I'd like to see a shot to a little higher than it shows, but dishing the puck to the other shooters is going to get him big points too. And finally, Chandler Stevenson, the guy that's playing wingman to the t- two big guns we've talked about in and Las Vegas brings down the average cost of stacking that line when you consider he only costs 3700 bucks tonight. He's got only four points in 10 games played, but if the other guys go off, he's going to be right there with them tonight. Hey, Jeff, value play tonight, dude. You got more than one? Uh, no, I mean, I'm just going to go with, with one guy I really like. I mean, Paul, Paul listed off a ton of options. Yeah, I like how we're doing this yin-yang thing, you know, one guy gives a bunch of picks, the other guy agrees and kind of just keeps it short. I'm going to keep it short with Ivan Barbashev, of the St. Louis Blues is only 3K. He went through a bit of a like a pronounced uh, just point scoring drought, but he's still getting you know some power play time, some some time with really good offensive players. And I think that's the big thing with Barbashev when he gets put in these roles alongside other good offensive players, he'll produce. You know, he came through with multiple points in his last game, and I, I just like grabbing pieces of cheap players from these good offenses when they're in these matchups. You know, you, you you've seen it a, a lot throughout the year, but. The, the Blues against Buffalo, I mean, paying 3K for like a top nine winger on the Blues, it, it, it's not a bad strategy at all. We've seen Barbashev come with upside, you know, three shots on goal, four shots on goal game and, and a point or two. I think he's in a, a really good spot for 3K if you need that kind of deep punt play. All right. On the DK Sportsbook, uh, which game total are you going to be targeting, Jeff? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to cheat just a little bit here. I, I'm not going to go with the game total. I'm going to go with a, a team total. I'm going to say go over... On the Vegas Golden Knights, 3.5. You have to go to the team totals. Over 3.5 goals for the Vegas Golden Knights. It's minus 115. And again, I, I mean, I you could take the over, I guess, six goals. But do we really want to trust the Coyotes to get us more than one goal? I don't. I think going to the team total on the Vegas Golden Knights is a better play tonight. Again, Jack Eichel humming. They've, their, their offense is starting to click. And they're playing Arizona. I think Vegas just loads up here. Maybe they do hit the overall total on their own, but I'd rather just bet the Vegas Golden Knights over 3.5 goals today. Paul, where are you going, man? I like to take the over on the Carolina-Columbus game. I think it's going to be a very high-scoring game. So what are the alt line at over 7.5 for a plus 185 winning bet? That should be attainable. And I also like to, for offense to come out over top of defense in the Chicago-Jersey game tonight. Both offense is firing and the defense is not doing as much. So, again, go over the 7.5 to get a big payoff at plus 215. Paul, puck line or money line? I'll give you one of each. Devils have been outscoring scoring a lot lately with 25 in their last five games. That includes a few games against some of the NHL's top clubs, so I respect that. And the Hawks have averaged only two goals per game in their last seven tilts. I take the visitors at a plus 120 on the money line. And I think the Kings offense is worth a plus 230, giving up one and a half on the puck line tonight. Both teams have played well of late, but LA's only lost one in their last 10 in regulation. So I trust them, and they're higher in the standings, so it makes me feel good about that bet too. Jeffrey. Yeah, there's a lot of just like, you know, big favorites tonight where you're we're really paying to take the puck line even. I mean, uh, of the group, I mean, you, I'm looked at Colorado, St. Louis, uh, even like Carolina. We're all looking like at under plus odds just to take them to cover the puck line. I prefer Vegas, though, of this group. Minus 105 to, ki- to cover the, the 1.5 puck line. I think they can do it against Arizona. Again, 
This is a team that we're just waiting to click with Jack Eichel. You're starting to see it. The Coyotes just aren't going to put up any resistance here, in my opinion. So I like Vegas to cover the puck line, and I'm with Paul and the Kings, too. I'm just going to take them straight up on the money line, minus 110. I'm fine with that. The Ducks, they have, like, one good win in their last, uh, you know, seven games. Again, they struggled against the San Jose Sharks. We're really lucky to pull out a shootout win there. I think the Kings can, can come in and grab another road victory. They've been very good on the road to late, too, so I do not mind those even money odds on the Kings either.